I've been married for 43 years. Mm -hmm. I lost my wife in February, but anyway, sorry about that, I knew my wife oh, like that. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. I knew my wife like that. I, I, well, I can go tell her anything. It wasn't that. It wasn't like that in our life. Word. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so that's what's up. So again, man, we're doing this for YouTube. Yeah, we, we didn't do that for YouTube before we were doing that for something else, but this is YouTube. I was just taking notes for my interview tonight. But um, for the young man right here, what's up, man? How you doing? All right, hey man, for the, for the young man right here, he just walked in on the, on the topic. The subject matter is, and I'm gonna bring it to my man again because he know it better than me. What's the subject matter? If you, uh, oh shoot, listen to me. <laughs> the, um, basically it's this, this, um, this, the dish, like, go ahead, John, I know you know it, go for it. <laughs> Look at JT. I can't even think the, now. The subject, that's all right. The subject matter is, is it okay to keep information away from your mate? Is it okay to keep information away from your mate because you fear how she gonna, he or she is going to react? What do you think, bro? First off, what's your name? Carlton. Brother Carlton, what do you think, man? Uh, I guess it all depends. I'm going to regret saying that. <laughs> it's gonna be used against me later. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, it depends on the, the situation. As far as what, what you would tell the person or not? Yeah. Your, your mate, yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. Some of the, now, some of the scenarios with the gentleman we're saying here, yes. Uh, that's, you know, right. something life threatening, then you should tell. But what about if it's something like, and I know it sounds like we just had to. If you know your mate, mate that way. Yeah. If you know you make like that, like, like I'm gonna recap for YouTube real quick. Let's just say, if um, if if my man right here, what's your name again, brother? Larry. Brother Larry, if he's in um, Save a Lot, and he runs into uh, Sister Penelope, he used to date Penelope. That's his old girlfriend, right? Right. <laughs> he was in the church. Okay. So Sister Penelope, he runs into Sister Penelope. And he gives her a hug, like, oh my God, you know what the scene looks like. Right. Somebody you ain't seen in a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So you laughing and giggling, you having a good time, you hug her and everything. But oh, unbeknownst to you, Sister Jenkins is in the other row, walking, peeking, like, what the? You know, and Sister Jenkins is real cool with your girl. So you don't know that's happening at all. You don't even see that because you're so engulfed. She grabbed her phone and texted his wife already. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. So um, that simple situation right there, is, is what I'm saying. Do you go home naturally saying you you ran into Sister Penelope, somebody you used to date to your woman, or is that something that you just omit? Hmm. We already know what my man thinks. <laughs> what do you think, bro? Well, like, like I said before, it depends on how you know your woman, how you know your mate. Right. Like me, myself, my wife, I would went home and told the wife. You know? Not, even if you didn't, we, we're assuming that Sister Penelope don't know, though. I mean, Sister Jenkins had right, a call. Right, because I haven't seen, I haven't seen, I didn't see uh, Sister Jenkins. Right. So, yeah, I would go home and tell my wife. That's how, that's how me and my wife, because I know her like that. Free information it's, just it's on no, the table. It's, it's no, it's, it's none of that in between nowhere between me and her. So I would let her know, you know, I ran into, you know, my, my old girl, because I would have been done told her that years ago, you know, who I dated and, you know, everything Should have like been that. already in the know, so to speak. Sure. Huh, JT, Ooh. the master barber. What do you think? And then your woman gonna know I'm you gonna straight tell up. Her. I'm gonna tell my woman. I'm gonna okay, tell her right off the bat. Say it again. Hold on. Say it again. I said your woman gonna know you straight up. Cause Sister oh. Jenkins done already told her, and, and you, you coming home and letting her know before she questioned you about what uh, Sister Jenkins told her. Because if you haven't told her and she already know, she gonna come with it. Hey man, that's that good knowledge right there. Yeah, so basically, what you're doing is it. you using. Not knowing that Sister Jenkins is there anyway, yeah, I didn't but you're know. using that as a fact of uh, ver to verify your character. She, yeah, Sister then, Jenkins will then, be verifying your and character. Then your, and your wife gonna automatically know your mate or whoever. She gonna automatically know this is this is straight up guy. He let me know what's going on. Sister Jenkins done already told me. Now, are we upset with Sister Jenkins though for telling anything? No, we upset no, with that. Not really. That's what? that's typical. Yeah, that's, that's life. Because that's you know, what she's gonna part do. Of life. Yeah. So if she, if, so my man here said he don't wanna. <laughs> even deal with the drama or the argument, so he ain't gonna come home and say he saw nobody. I did. 
Even though your woman may be, even though Sister Jinx is already told her, cause she gonna she gonna come with it. Your your your, uh, your mate gonna come with it in a minute. Cause okay. she gonna ask you where you been, what like, you did. I feel like my argument is valid. It what you mean? It wasn't that serious. It, it, exactly. it wasn't that serious for me to tell you. Exactly. It's not like I was trying to hide her. Or nothing. But you know, you, you, you know, if you know how a woman is, you know how a woman is. Oh, he hiding something. And other women are messy. And we that's don't what, know that's how what they gonna think, man. He hiding something. Presented it to to Penelope. Right, right. Well, man, cause she gonna come. She gonna come at you. Cause she, Sister Jenkins done already told her. So she gonna I mean, wait for a minute after you ask you where you been, what messy. you did, and stuff like that. Yeah. And then after a minute, she gonna come with it. So, but what if what if she don't know? Like you, my, my man said, he already forecast a blizzard. So he just don't want to be in the blizzard or have it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Mary, so you are you, you don't want to have no um no parts of the blizzard. So yeah. are you saying um yeah. I'm gonna keep it at bay and not say nothing? You think you're doing your woman a favor? Yeah. Is that basically yeah. what it is? Or you doing the relationship a favor? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing myself a favor. Maybe I sound selfish. <laughs> I don't want to argue. You hear what he just said? You hear what he just said? Oh, this was crazy. I asked him. I asked him. Um, if you don't tell your woman, I, I mean, is, does that mean you doing her a favor? Because you know the blizzard is coming, so you don't want her to be engulfed in the blizzard. You, you, or you, you doing? Even, the, you mean even if Miss Jenkins didn't tell her? Right. If he just don't him, the fact that don't want to tell her, is he um, saving her from the blizzard or saving the relationship from the blizzard? Guess what he said. Right. He said, "I'm gonna let him say it again." <laughs> saving myself. <laughs> he said he may sound selfish. But basically, I'm saving myself from the blizzard yeah. because I see it's coming. Yeah. It's, that's intelligent. That's if you already know. You know, if you already know it's coming. Yeah. 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 But if you know your mate and you know it's going to, you know, if, if something like that come up, you know it's coming. But check this out. My per definition. Go ahead. I'm sorry. My reaction would be not to say nothing anyway because it's not that serious. I just seem to. Oh, yeah, exactly. Man, it's not, high yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Okay, so per definition, to, de to deceive, to deceive is to uh, conceal something. To, to lie no. is to no, have an omittance serious. of the truth. To tell a lie is to omit the truth, right? So to omit something or to deceive something, you, you're lying. And, and per definition, you're lying. lying. She didn't ask me. No, no, well, I'm not. You're deceiving me, yes? Yeah. Right, you, you, you deceive. So, so let me give you a metaphor to make it better for, a little understanding for your planet. So if I come in the, the barbershop, I come in, and before I come in, what's your name, brother? I'm sorry. My name is Ellis. Brother Ellis. Somebody say, hey, man, is Brother Ellis in there? I say, uh, I don't know. I ain't in there. And they say, well, look, me and this gang of fools in this food ride got a whole bunch of guns, and we're going to kill Brother Ellis as oh. soon as he come out. Oh, and I come in here, sit next to Brother Ellis, without you two, and don't, say nothing, and don't say nothing. Am I wrong? Well, that's a whole nother. Oh, 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 no. We're talking about, we talking about per, defini per definition. I ain't talking about the scenario. I'm talking about per definition. I'm sitting here being deceitful, sitting next to you all day. Yeah. yeah, I'm being deceitful. That's a fact. Per definition, I am deceiving you. And then you go out there and collect bullets yeah. all up in the Especially chest cavity. You, you and I had the information. You can save somebody's life, you know. Okay. Yeah. 